So guard number three is plug, or translated simply as plow, uh, as in the farm implement of plow. Uh, and um, so this is one that currently in the community is under a little bit of debate as to what it is, uh, because some of the descriptions seem to think that uh, it might actually be down. Um, so, so, but that's you know that's for uh, further analysis at the moment. Uh, I think this this position right here is a pretty good starting point if you're trying to figure out what plot is. Um, and so let's take a look at some of the characteristics uh, in terms of tactics. Um, the blade's out. Okay, so just like Ox, which we're going to come back to in a little bit. Um, <coughs> it's out so that um, the blades can engage and can do any sort of blade play with this guard as well, just like Ox. Um, the other thing to think about now is uh, again, how far out can it vary? And um, and so uh, one of the things to think about um, at some point, you put it too far out and it basically turns into long form, and that's you know, there's different functionality for these things. So one of the things about this is that it guards stuff from below. So from here, th there's really no structure to cover stuff from below. So you want to have at least a little bit of an angle uh, between your arms and the blade. Okay. So uh, the other thing is too far forward, and your hands start becoming targets. Okay. So so kind of comfortably here, maybe a little bit further out here, but not too much further. Uh, and as far back as kind of what's whatever is comfortable for your arms. Uh, again, point online with the opponent. Uh, and this is now where we get into some interesting symmetries between Plow and Ox. Uh, I'm sorry, Plug and Ox. So Plug and Ox, uh, these two guards are called the two hangers, actually. Uh, and you can kind of see why by this relationship right here. Okay, so from here to here and here to here, you see this sort of cone that they prescribe. And notice they're all around the center. So these are designed to kind of keep that point on the opponent guarding the center line as much as possible. Um, <coughs> also, so so that kind of shows a little bit of transition between, kind of that circular transition between those guards. Um, also, what it shows is um, kind of this nice relationship between uh, the acceptable angles for these. So, so here, just for a flu, for instance, this is acceptable in terms of wrist angle. And same thing up here with box. Um, here is good, here is okay, you don't want to break the wrist, don't want to do that. So similar here, thumb on the inside on flat, that's okay. Up to here, okay, but I can have it as far down as this, or this.